Elsewhere, chilling new 911 calls released as a mother is on trial for the death of her young son. Rebecca Hogue, back in Cleveland County courtrooms today, charged with first degree murder. Her son, two year old Jeremiah Johnson, died in January of 2020. Prosecutors say he was abused by Hogue's boyfriend, Christopher Trent. Trent was later found dead after hanging himself in the Wichita Mountain Wildlife Refuge. Prosecutors also allege Hogue failed to protect Jeremiah, her son, from the abuse. And a warning here, these 911 calls, as usual, are disturbing. News for us, Bria Berry was in the courtroom today, and she has the very latest for us. Ryder's grandmother, emotional as she testified, she never liked her daughter's boyfriend, Christopher Trent, and she even confronted him when he spanked the little boy. I just woke up next to my son, and he's cold. He's not breathing. A frantic call to 911, the moment Rebecca Hogue found her two year old son, Jeremiah Ryder Johnson, unresponsive. The mother claiming the toddler was cold and died on January 1st, 2020. Can you feel or hear any breathing? No, he's dead. Thursday, day two of testimony in the mother's trial happening inside the Cleveland County Courthouse. Hogue charged with first degree murder, accused of enabling child abuse in her son's death. Police say Hogue's boyfriend, Christopher Trent, was the primary suspect in the case. He hung himself three days after the toddler died. Hogue's mother, Diane, taking the stand Thursday, telling the court she wasn't a fan of Trent and that he tried too hard to impress her and even lied about his age. Diane testifying about a time she noticed a mark and a cut on Ryder's face. When she asked Rebecca, her daughter claimed Ryder fell off the bed. Diane says she witnessed Trent pop Ryder's hand after the toddler broke two eggs. That incident sparked an argument between Trent and Diane. She said she told Trent to never touch my grandson again. The state's medical examiner testifying two-year-old Ryder was killed by blunt force trauma. In Cleveland County, Bria Berry, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Bria, thank you. Testimony will continue tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock.